Alrighty guys, welcome back to a new episode of 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. The Sentinels are incredible weapons. If we could deploy them in the mainland war, they could instantly turn the tide. That war's been over for decades, Hijiyama kun You can stop worrying about it. We will never stop until our foes lie dead. I'm not about to forget my duty, Yokino. Where to next? Don't get ahead of yourself. We're not done here. Reinforcements. I see kaiju gathering from across the whole city. I'll release some more drones to expand our search range. Good. Leave the fisticuffs to me. What I'm worried about is the G molars in the back. G molars. G molar? Is that what you call the big round ones? No, G molar. As in, with the letter G? It stands for. You know what? Never mind. A G molar is a dimos built for excavation. It uses the spinning blades on its back to dig into the ground. Okay. They need to bore a path to the terminal. It's the core of their strategy. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be streaming tomorrow unused. A slow poke like that? All I need is one strike to take that one out. They can withstand intensely high pressures and break through any rock. If you underestimate it, you're the one who's going to get taken out. We ain't talking about a date. Is that where they're headed? Yes, that's the point closest from the surface to the terminal. But your sentinel's a first gen, which means more mobility. mobility. That'll come in handy here. Cool. Can you take out some kaiju on your way there? I don't have much choice. We're going in. I guess mobility means longer. Okay, victory condition destroy our kaiju. Lost condition terminal destroyed. Okay, the gameplay aspect isn't as ridiculously hard to understand as I thought it would be. Using powerful armaments will consume energy EP. EP is gradually repellent. Okay, it's repent uh, replenish. I know how to talk by defeating enemies, but you can replenish it faster by using defend. Yep. When you use defend, you'll be unable to move temporarily. Make use of it strategically. Try using the armament leap attack, which consumes EP. The practice round's over. Lump jumps towards target area and impact ground with a shockwave. Damn, that's kind of cheap. <laughs> it didn't kill him, though. I guess life comes at you fast. So I can do something like this. Mm, yeah, look at that. I'll make it work. Leap attack is pretty bro. It's kind of broken, dude. Just saying. This is as far as I can go, and as many as I can get. Oh, look at this. This is a rush attack. I think leap attack here would also just dunk on everything. Oh my god. Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. Okay, let's see. Tackle. Charges towards the area, not gonna away ground kaiju in the path. Damage multiplied by 1.5. Oh, if you get a back attack. Take this. A fine hit. Now you've done for I swear. What next? Structures destroyed. Okay. You should probably be doing moves that like let me do stuff fast. Oh my god, what the fuck? That was powerful as shit. Unbelievable. It's a rush attack. It's like no EP, but it's like close range only. Anybody else? Look at this dude. I'll make it work. Sentinel number 12. Defensive mode active. Yeah, by the time he gets over here, I'll have all my EP back. Let's see. Not all of it, but yeah, you getting tackled, Bucko. 
Or should I uh, rush attack it? Okay. Is that it? Okay. More enemies. Is there no end to this? This is good. We got enough EP. Looks like I made it in time. I'm going to activate Aegis before they overwhelm us. You're that guy from before. What are you scheming? I won't allow it. Wait, Hijiyama kun. Let him handle this. Are you sure? He's about to do something to the saucer. It's all part of the plan. Besides, there's something I want us to try. Fine. I trust you. The terminal has a few defense mechanisms in place. Now that we've got access to them, you should be able to command them yourself. Uh oh, we got drones. Attack the kaiju directly. So far, so good, Cringy. Let's give this one a shot. This phase plasma EMP. Hey, EMP. We got the Sombra Meta Skills. By gathering a meta chips from defeating enemies, your meta gauge in the bottom left of the screen will increase. You can use meta skills when the meta gauge is filled. Okay. Oh, shit. Bruh. What did you just do? That was OD. That was a nuke. Forced a shutdown of designated targets oh, within It was range. an EMP, not a nuke. That was amazing. Let's fire off some more of those. We can't do that. Don't know if we can do that, but we have a couple other tricks up our sleeve. Let me take a look. The only meta skill you currently can use in battle is phase plasma EMP, and you can only use it once. Once terminal enhancements are available, you'll be able to unlock and enhance various skills. You can also increase the number of uses. Cool. Pretty neat. Um, I guess we gotta wait. I'm acting like an amateur. No, you good. Wait for these dudes to start moving towards us. What next? Leap attack. Look at this. Dude, okay. What kind of body in these people, bro? They need to, uh, you know. Yeah, these these kaiju's or whatever we're fighting, they need to try it a little bit harder. Oh shit! What the fuck? Aegis activation confirmed. All the hostiles in range destroyed themselves like magic. That was sick. If we had that kind of weaponry, you should have told me. Why bother with the sentinels when we have this? It takes time to activate. And if we get taken out before it's ready, then it's all over. It means the terminal would be fully locked down. Nobody could ever open it again. Is that a bad thing? This is Renya Goto. You were one of the compatible pilots from Sector 5. Who are you communicating with? I'd really rather not deal with this. <laughs> Don't tell him, hijiyama -kun. No one. I'm fighting solo. Sentinel signals detected. Interesting. Sentinels are being activated in another location. He was asking who he were, he, who he was communicating with. Interesting. What the fuck? I'd rather not deal with this. Don't tell them. Number seventeen and number nineteen. Okay. Just how many sentinels are online now? So we made it through. Kind of sus, but all right. All right. So far, so good. This game is pretty fun. The Suno Minami story is now available. Okay, y'all. We got through the second, was that the third tutorial fight? Got the girl in the swimming trunks. Or is that the, the track shorts? I don't know what you call them. Cool. 
It's the athletic version of the game. Oh my god. Break time. Sakura High. New building hallway. Hey, we're in a new building, not the old building. Oh, she's got a jog. Her walk speed OD, so if they ever make a fighting game of this game, she gonna be hella fast. She's gonna be rushed down. What are you guys talking about so seriously over here? N nothing really. Just talking about what our dreams were last night. Oh yeah? Anything interesting? Not especially. Just wondering about stuff. Stuff. Like if dreams are influenced by the movies we see. Oh yeah. That video you asked for the other day. I was just about to bring it to you. No way. Yes, this is it. Thanks a bunch. I was super bummed, you know. I couldn't record last week's UFO mysteries. UFO mysteries. This game was going on for freaking ever. I haven't watched the video you lent me yesterday yet. Come on, you gotta watch EXT. It's a classic. EXT. I saw it in the theater three times at least. Is that like supposed to be like ET? Talk about aliens without seeing that movie. I don't really intend on talking about aliens anyway. Thanks for recording this. Extraterrestrial. I get it. An alien stranded on Earth establishes a bond with a young boy. In it's an ET reference. It's a real 1982 classic. Bro, the writer was really in the mood for some 80s. Like, you know what? I love the 80s. Let me make a game that makes so many 80s references to anime and pop culture. A special <laughs> series airing on TV. All about the latest UFO discoveries. I'm so glad I got a recording of it. Bet you're thinking, here she goes about those UFOs again. <laughs> no, not at all. You'd be the same if you watched this. They're already here on Earth, you know. Yeah, they look like octopuses and want to destroy us all, right? <laughs> No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. That's from a book. You're thinking of the War of the Worlds. <laughs> oh, not John. There's no stopping you once you get going on this stuff. Just watch. One of these days, I'll work for NASA. And I'm gonna find a real alien. You're gonna have to get better grades in science then. Ooh. Oh, man. You're right. Got him. Like, damn, she said, Yo ass is stupid as hell. A classic sci fi novel by that one famous writer. It features Martians that look like octopuses. Martians? Three legged weapons called tripods and use them to invade the earth. I'll get this back to you soon. Take your time. See you guys. Bye. See you later. Where's that cat? We need to go find a cat. We have to go to the audio visual room. <laughs> oh, so oh, right. stoked. Everyone's already there. Gonna pop in my headphones. I just gotta get my stuff. Turn off all the lights. Not John. There's so much stuff happening right now. What the heck? Yuki? Her name would be Yuki. Huh. You still haven't gotten your new uniform yet? Oh. Yeah, who the hell knows? But never mind that. What are you smiling about? Something good on that videotape? Oh, this? <laughs> I thought VHS and videotape. Well, actually, the quarter inch. Hmm. I was going to say videotapes weren't a thing in the 80s, were they? But then I'm like, wait a minute. Didn't they have the bigger videotapes? And then they kind of started getting smaller once they got to the 90s. Okay, okay. It's a recording of a TV show on UFOs. A friend let me borrow it. <laughs> that explains it. I don't even like she go to this school, dude. Is still alive and well. Her dress code. She Better don't even pay I. attention to the dress code. Of course not. It makes me happy, actually. To know you're still my notch on. <laughs> but maybe don't call me Dr. Space anymore. We've outgrown our kid nicknames, don't you think? <laughs> Whatever you say. Well, if it isn't Takamiya. Oh shit, it's Josuke. 
So that Kuri gang you beat up, they're hanging around our school now. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> what are you, my mom? Huh? I'm no damsel in distress. I can take care of my own shit. So beat it, pinhead. What did you say to me? Intervene. <laughs> okay, chill out, Ogata-kun. You don't need to start a fight in the middle of the hallway. I didn't start anything. She's the one walking around here like she owns the place. Come on, you too, Yuki-chan. <sighs> Fine. Sorry, Nachan. <laughs> what the? Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> Yuki-chan. <laughs> what if I just walked Don't off? Worry. Would they have fun? <laughs> that stuff happens all the time to me. Oh, by the way, can I come watch you practice again today? Sure. I mean, that's not weird, but you know. Well, better get back to class. See you soon. Okay. Where, where are we going? We just jogging down the street? Jogging down the class? Hold on. I thought one of these group of people would say something. Look at this big dude in the class. Now, I want to know if the details are going to stay that way. So once we walk in, will we still see that dude with the glasses looking at the book and the big dude? After school. <sighs> Gotta get a sip of that water. Is that right not to know? <laughs> Let me get some of that water. Oh. Well, I wanna I wanna mash X thing. button to run on track, Plenty please. All. You know how it is. Let me run on track, please. <laughs> hey, first year. What's up, Senpai? Me and the manager have to go and talk to the teacher. There's things to discuss about the next meet. Sorry, but could you handle the cleanup today? Come on, bro. Okay. What the? Where did the girl go? Where did everybody go? Am I the only one still here? They say you finna clean up by yourself. Bro. I should have talked to him a little bit more. What the? That dude looks sus as hell. He's got black gloves on and he got sunglasses. A couple of them in the schoolyard too. Old Turk looking at. I what they're doing here. Seems like they're looking for something. They're looking for clout. Hmm. Men dressed in black suits. <gasps> Wait a minute. Could they really be men in black? Bruh. An organization that monitors alien activity. Maybe there's a UFO that's landed near here. <laughs> a lone alien left behind by a UFO. Being pursued by relentless men in black. Its only hope is to be rescued by one chosen earthling. Man, what a story that would be. Whoa! Sheesh, watch where you're going. Haven't seen that uniform before. Wonder what school he goes to. <sighs> I'd better hurry and get on with the cleanup. Don't want Senpai to get mad. Okay, let's do this. You kind of do be looking uncomfortable, but I guess if you need to run, I guess that kind of, that's what you wear. <sighs> Bro, I would have did a clean up mini game, man. What we got on here? We got stuff drying out. We got, I guess this is the locker room or whatever. Man in black. Secret agents rumored to deal in the extraordinary and silencing those who witness UFOs. They call them men in black. No one really knows much else. Here comes the man in black. Something about defending galaxies or something. I'm too tired to change. Fuck it, I'll just walk Maybe home just in this. Home in my gym clothes. That's what I would do. TBH. But then you got I perverts. I'm pretty sweaty. So this is a different. It's different for her. Uh, what was that? It's gotta be the cat. 
Get the umbrella. Hold on, let me pick up the umbrella. A, a rake, and then smack the shit out of it. Something's in there. That's what I would have did. I'm not going over there unless I got something in my hand. What the? Wait. Bro, is that Wally? What's going on? What? There a pervert in here? How would he know? What the fuck? Because I guess she screamed. Still totally dressed. Is there a pervert in here? And only you, buddy. <laughs> what are you doing barging into the girls' locker room? Only you. I heard you scream. I was just coming to help. Plus, all those creeps in black suits. Been seeing them everywhere. So, I thought... You're the only creep around here, you moron. Get out of here already! And he has technically a black yeah, suit. Haha. <laughs> do something nice around here. Dr. Maruki, please. Um, hey there. Dilelele <laughs> woo. Dilelele <laughs> woo. What? No way. It talks. What is this unidentified object want? You want something called a B and a J. Hmm. I don't know if I can help you with that, buddy. Oh man. This is just like the movies. Eleven five. Is that supposed to mean something? Could that mean the time? He needs to get some help. Hey there, little guy. All these kids in, the, in this game. Did I scare you? Need help, bro. It's okay, I'm your friend. <laughs> hmm. Can you understand me? You and I are friends. Alien is like B J. <laughs> it worked. Bro, that's Wally, bro. Stay calm. What the heck is Wally doing here? This is copyright. Yes, it all makes sense. Those black suits all over campus. What a bloody! Uh... Just like that one movie. They must be here to capture this alien. The thing they were looking for. This explains it. And that means I must protect him. Welcome to Earth. You need to, yo. I can't believe this is really happening. My dream is finally coming true. It's Rob from Smash. They nerfed him though, because they took away his gyro. Do I leave? BJ. BJ. 11. BJ? Is that your name? BJ-11? My name is Natsuno. In our Lassiter code matched. What the? Lassiter code yeah. matched. Uh oh. Yeah, that's me. I don't mean to be rude, but is that a spacesuit you're wearing? Like, is your brain inside of a jar or something? Clearly a machine. Bro, she's dense, bro. Like, bro. Is she all right, bro? <laughs> this is that though. She's that character. Not to know. Me, memory cell. That's amazing, BJ. Where'd you learn how to speak my language? Go to gate. Gate? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about, but it's okay. I've seen the movie. You need to call your home planet, right? And then a UFO is going to come and rescue you. Don't worry. I'm going to help you. BJ has to stand for something like. Like. Or beefy. Beefy. Jerkanicus. Mechanicus. I don't know what the fuck I'm. 
saying anymore. All I know is she dumb. Your girl dumb, bro. His name is BJ. His mission was to protect Earth from other evil aliens. Bob Jones. His name is Bob Jones. What are we looking for? I gotta talk to him again, don't I? Are you an alien? Clearly made of fucking mechanical, like this technology is crazy. Metal, like. You wanna go there? I know exactly where that is. It's a shrine near school. <laughs> Whoa, wait! You can't just go walking out like that. The black suits would spot you in a second. The location BJ pointed out on the map. It's a shrine nearby the school. So we're going to the shrine. I can get him there, but I'll have to hide him in something. Oh, a basket. We're gonna be riding a bike, have him in a basket. I can get him there. I gotta find something here. My PE bag. Yeah, this will do the trick. So clearly the movies are more than movies. These movies are like somehow definitely a plot device. Oh my god, I'm trying to get all the way over here. Bag given out by the school. It can fit more than it looks. <laughs> she really the type of human to unknowingly kill her own species. Sorry about the tight fit. Nah, -uh. you gotta keep your head down. I'll get you to where you need to go. That bag is a fucking black hole, bro. That big ass robot is in that bag. That is crazy. Tokisaka Shrine. <sighs> okay, doesn't seem like we were followed. Hey, it's another card they use in the uh, bonus game of Street Fighter to beat up. This is it. Tokisaka Shrine. She's strong as hell, but she'd be dumb. This place has been here forever. A pretty good hiding place, too, now that I think about it. I mean, who would have thought somewhere like this was really a hub of extraterrestrial alien activity? All right, we're here, BJ. Whoa, what is all this? So bright. Are these holograms? Access code approved. I've never seen anything like this, except in the freaking movies. He is teleporting. Wow, this is awesome, DJ. Oh man, you're really good at Sent her ass to the Mars on accident. You know you can't breathe on Mars. Look at that. She got herself killed. <laughs> Dumb. Oh shit. Uh, I think we went a little bit too far into the future. Hey, wait up! Don't leave me behind. Oh shit. Is this the bad ending? Jeez, this is getting pretty crazy even by dream standards. Huh. One second we're at the shrine, then we're surrounded by this weird light. This is what the real world is. Now we're in this place? What the heck happened to this city? Clearly it got it destroyed. Like there was a war. What happened to this city? It's the same city. Stop. <sighs> There's more? The government has released a statement at 5.40 p.m. Japan time. Communications with major cities around the world have not yet been restored. It is likely that these cities have also come under attack by the same unknown enemy that has besieged Japan. Domestically, multiple locales are reporting serious damages. If Japan ain't ready, the rest of the world ain't ready. The unknown enemy has made landfall, swarming a large area across the bay. They are now thought to be headed in the direction of Kasumicho in Sakura Ward. Bro, if the giant robots couldn't win, we ain't winning over here in the U.S. 
Oh, oh, GG. No. That's near our school. Is this... Are we in <coughs> my town? I need to know more. It's hard to see here, but we have to understand. What can only be described as monsters have descended upon our town. Okay. It's quite difficult to comprehend. Clearly an apocalyptic event is going to happen. Six, seven? No, there's more every time I look. What are they? Some say we are finally witnessing a takeover of aliens from space. Could this really be the end of humanity? Will our species not live to see past 2064? Damn. Upon us. Is that year 2064? Good luck. So this is year 2064. 2064? We're in the future? 80 years to be exact. This can't be real. Can it? Hey, where are you going? Oh, damn. I feel like we can't be here right now. I feel like she's picking up radiation. <laughs> From the destroyed city, these things probably give off some type of something. They radiate something that ain't good for the human body. Monstrous tripod. Riding over the young pine trees and smashing them aside in his career. A walking engine of glittering metal. Riding now across the heather. The war of the worlds. First it was COVID, then it was the apocalypse. I think they are apocalypse now those things do have one extra leg but they're just like the tripods weapons used by aliens to invade earth so you're saying these movies we're just trying to prepare us to is this really happening was Earth really attacked by aliens? Movies are trying Can to prepare to them to... Humanity? Before the world ends. Basically, the movies are historical things. BJ, why? That happen in the future. Why did we come here? Search memory cell. Yeah, I know, but what is that? You're looking for this? Sentinel. Sentinel number 17. That's her sentinel. Did they find us? We gotta get out of here. Manami's prologue cleared. <laughs> I'm not going to 2064. Oh, something got updated. Yeah, you will never see me in 2064 ever. Specifically, you won't ever see me in 2064 in Japan in Kasumi Cho. Kami Cho, whatever that place was, I ain't going there. So in about 42 years, y'all, y'all ain't gonna see me over there. I'll be 72. All right, let's get it. Oh, the dude with the hat. Miracoon. Anything I'm screwing up here? Miracoon. Just fine, Natsuno san. You're a natural. This was his last gift to me. I gotta do this right so I don't let him down. BJ? Don't we have a bunch of bad guys everywhere already? Should we really be to May 27th. We don't have a way out here. Yeah, some shit happens on May 27th, huh? primary tactic should be long distance annihilation so how is Tanjiro doing in this game so if they do get too close that's bad news well we've got electromagnetic battering rams for both arms in case of close quarters combat but we can't let them surround us I don't know if we could fight our way out of that okay got it warning Dymo signatures approaching preparing to intercept Initiating tactical analysis. They're coming. they're coming. What do we do? Should we shoot? We shoot and we punch. Get a clear look at the opposing forces. The 
enemy may have more numbers than us, but we can hit them all in one fell swoop. Mirakun, I'm... I'm kind of shook up here. We'll be okay. We can use the electromagnetic grounds. Shake them up instead. Number 17, yep. Look, Mirakun, Number 19. See, hold up, hold up. How is this game called 13 Sentinels when there's at least 19 of them? Yeah. Yeah, there's something going on here. Timey wimey shenanigans. I'm in the perfect position. My man about to bust out the water wheel. Pierce through packs of kaiju straight ahead with the main battery heavy barrel gun. Ooh, this should sound like fun. This is gonna be a long range of uh, ability. I won't back down. Ooh, this looks sick. Take that! Damn. Enemy signal terminate. That was awesome. You got them all in one shot. That electromagnetic round has the power of a salvo from 46 centimeter battleship mounted cannons. God damn. But a weapon that powerful comes with high energy costs and high risks to match. If you don't use it carefully, you might end up out of power at the worst possible moment. My man, the cooldown might be really long on that. Destroy all kaiju. Terminal destroyed. You lose if it's ter the, the terminal destroyed. We lose. Destroy all kaiju to win. Okay. Hey, bro. Main battery, like six seconds. What the heck is effect? The halts movement and drops aerial. Okay. Six multi launching rapid cannons. Damn. That area, so we can kind of target. God damn. Only one person got hit though. Enemy Feels bad. This thing does take like a hundred and fifty. Bro, my gonna Yeah. I don't think I need to do that. That thing does a lot a lot of damage. So I don't think we should do that right now. Damn, god damn, bro. Oh, no. I'm yeah, there we go. She got a better aim or a better uh turn that time. Okay. Yeah, just do the free one. We blowing up the buildings in the back, bro. I feel bad. We got through it. For a first time pilot. Yo, Z Saber, thanks for the 12 months, bro. Couldn't have done it without you, Miracun. Warning. Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. What? There's more? How many of these guys are there? Oh god. This isn't good. Looks like they're deploying wide range attackers of their own. Let me check the Sentinel's data. Maybe we have a dossier in here somewhere. There we go. A surface wrecker. Colloquially called a twin tail. Colloquially? That's a hard word to say. It's coming, Miracoon. Do we attack? Wait, I think we have new enemies inbound. Actually, isn't that... Sentinels number 13 and 15. Are they friendly? I appreciate it, Z Saber, for the 100 bits. What? Sure, Okun. You're in a Sentinel, too? It is you, Nachan. We're here to help. No way. You, too, Yuri? What's going on? Thank you, Jiro Kun. I couldn't have asked for better support. We have to defend the terminal until the systems activate. Nachan, let's do this together. The second generation model of Fuyusaka pilots come with support units, which are armaments that can be positioned. Okay. 
Once positioned, each support unit automatically takes action until the enemies are destroyed. Cool. Select Fuyasaka with left and right, then enter the action menu and choose sentry gun. Okay. What can I do? What do I do? Sentry gun. So I guess I could just position this right here if I want to. Bruh. The e EMP stunner looks like it works on everything. I feel like I would want to wait until later to use that. You know, let's use it right now. Yeah, that's sick. Intercepting missiles. Certain enemies like twin tails attack from a distance using missiles. Missiles can be evaded by moving or interception. Intercepted with attacks. Deal with them in the best. Deal, deal them. Deal with them in a way best. That suits the situation best. I don't know how to read, bro. Oh my god, was that the sentry gun I did that? What the fuck? That sentry gun is uh kind of wild, bro. I have. To, I won't back down. Yeah, fuck him up. Did I get it? <laughs> Can't mess this up. So we got some rockets coming, right? I need to move him. How far can he go? Dude, he can move anywhere. What the heck? One of these dudes. Okay, we gotta intercept the rockets, right? Okay, how do you intercept? Attack from a distance using missile. Missile will be evaded by moving or in his center with attacks. What now? Okay, I guess I, I I guess I wait. What can I do? Can I like use rockets to blow them up? Yeah, look at that. It becomes targeted. Okay. Okay. What now? I see. You can wait for them to show up and then you can target them. Um. I wish I can look at everything without. Because I don't know if there's another rocket coming my way. I'm going to help your boy out. That, that blew up the rocket, right? I don't think it did. We're gonna move her. Interesting. Okay. Blow them up. There's another missile coming. Yeah, fuck the missiles. Yeah. I think they're still like kind of. Nice. My defense, though. Dude, that sentry gun is cheap, bro. I think I'm gonna move him. Bro, the, the sentry guns are cheap. I'm just saying, brother. Long range missiles. I can get all three. Did I get it? Nice. Aegis activate. Aegis has been activated. Terminal's been closed. I can't see any more kaiju around. Is that it? We got him. Okay, I'm sorry. The gameplay is not that bad. No. This is still just the beginning. Of the game. If they can't use this terminal, they'll just move on to the next one. If that's true, the more targets they lose, the more desperate our enemies will get, and the harder they'll fight. Yeah. These battles are only going to get tougher. You're right. Seriously? I don't think we damn. 
We didn't take no damage. We had four people that time, though. That was cheap. I mean, we didn't take any, uh, what is it? Terminal damage. There we go. The Sentinels, some of them took damage. Yes. Megumi? Who? Is it random who they give you? Okay, here we go. Hair flip. Story of Megumi Yakushi. Ichi. Chichi. The Umbrella Girls. usually a good shortcut but it is so gross today what are they twins or something muddy as heck my shoes are soaked hmm. what's up you look bummed i mean it's raining and we gotta walk home in this rain thinking about how no one talks to you again i mean you talking to me right now down? it's just because you're so quiet megami People take that as you thinking you're better than them. Or that you're cold and distant. Not sure which is worse. They just need to get to know the real Megami. Hmm. The one who's a hopeless romantic. And a cool laid back girl just like everyone else. Maybe then they'd have an easier time talking to you. Hey, you should try posting videos online like me. It could really help you come out of your shell. Posting videos online? They must be from the future. They're definitely not from the 19 whatever era. 1980s. Yep, 2024. Okay. You really are great at singing, Tommy. You watched my Inaba Rabbit video? Mm hmm. I never knew you were so talented. <laughs> well, you're in luck. I'm posting a new one when I get home. Oh, wait. This the same girl that was like, yo, where did you go to middle school? Right? She got asked that question earlier, right? The one in the red glasses. And they was like, she was like, uh yeah, some someplace far away. Yeah, she's he's from the future. It goes back to 1984 eventually. So they go back 30 years and 40 years. They go 40 years in the future. Or from the future to the past. I'm following it. I'm following it, yeah. Does COVID still exist? Apparently. A light. I saw it in the water. They're not wearing a mask. Probably just a car headlight. Oh, red lightning? Oh shit, it's a it's a Titan. Damn, that one has scared the shit out of me, bro. It's not a Titan, it's a Sentinel. It came out of nowhere. Told me, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Told me, why are you just staring? Told me, what are you? Told me, stop, stop blocking me from moving to the right side of the screen. I'm not fucking dealing with this. It's 2024. We just had COVID. Meteor almost hit the fucking earth. Come on, bro, let's go. Why are you staring at it? <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> Told me, let's get the fuck out of here. I'm completely soaked. <laughs> and my umbrella got blown away. What a drag. She's about to get the YouTube busy. Like, hold up now. We could just make a YouTube video real quick. Holy crap. We could have totally died just now. She gonna pull out the phone? Is that thing? Pull out the camera? Bruh. But what then? That is not an airplane piece. Oh, this is wild. I live in Japan. I you... gotta document this. Oh no, where'd my phone go? Into the water. A light. And it's moving? Uh, this seems dangerous. What if it like blows up? Did this come from the past or did this come from the future? Who knows? Uh, right. 
Could it be from the present? Oh, she sidestepped. Something's happening. Get out of there. Oh, what the? This this uh Yusuke. Yosuke. This guy just popped up out of nowhere. What the You saw it too, right? Where did he come from? I just popped up out of uh, um you good fam you are good? you all right where am I no okay his shit is broke when he needs to get it repaired well today is October no the year what year is it right now oh it's 2024 2024 I must have been forcefully shifted here Forcefully been broken It's over It's all over Boy, you good? Um Should I call an ambulance? Who are yes you? But not for me I'm just from the school nearby. No. Then that means this place is next. I'm Juro Izumi. Izumi. I come from the future. Okay. This timeline. They're coming. Oh, he said timeline. So there's multiple timelines. They're, they're just. Uh oh. Oh no. My head is about to fucking just burst. Half a year later. Half a year later in 1985. That doesn't make any sense. So I guess they mean six months later, from her perspective, they somehow end up in the past. What the? Wait, I can move to a checkpoint. Interesting. She can't she doesn't have any thought process against that. That's weird. Oh, it's a cat. A cat. Oh, it looks so fluffy. Come here, Fluffy. This guy said, nah, bro. Get over here. I can't go after the cat. All right. Athletic field. What's the nurse? Are you all right? You look a little lost. I was just thinking, in 1985, the West Building doesn't even exist yet. Damn. Hey, yo, is this Stein's Gate? to see you just one last time one last time just do macking with everybody and number 13 is the only one that can still fight i have to go no. that sounds uh concerning i won't let you taking back that robot trying to fight by yourself it's not a good plan juro you couldn't defeat them even with all your friends damn it's true. I don't know if I'll be able to protect you all, but I can't do nothing. But you haven't even recovered yet. Megami, I really am grateful to you. Who is Christina V? I don't know Christina V. This is goodbye. I'm, I'm capping. I hope that it's not, but... Megami, this is bad. Uh, Juro Izumi. They're here, just like you said they would be. And now monsters are flooding the port in droves. Who are the men in black, though? Right. Megami, Tomi, I've told a woman named Morimura about you. When the time comes, you must listen to what she says. 
I need you to stay focused. Miss Morimura, how is your I need you to stay focused. Well, how about you uh, prescribe to me some of them stimulants? Yeah. Forget about Juro Izumi. The Juro you knew no longer exists. There was nothing else we could do. <laughs> From now on, you cannot go near him. Damn. But it's for his own good. His own good. It's just like that. You're not even gonna talk to me no more. That's messed up. Feels like I'm back in 2024 where nobody was talking to me. God damn, lady. No, wait. Juro. <laughs> huh? This is the school you attend. It is. How about we head back to the nurse's office now? It's important to take your medicine, you know. That's fucked up. Stop. You have to stay away. He's Juro Karabe now. Not Juro Izumi. Y'all gonna change his last name, but not his first name. That's crazy. He is not the same person. Giving him a new identity was the only way to save him. He's Juro Karabe. Possible. Not Juro it was the only way. Izumi no more. He's not the same. Agree. It had to be done. So for now, you need to stay away. At this point, he is still very unstable. Trust me, you're doing this for him. I don't know, bro. This feels kind of manipulative. A few months later, Sakura High School. It's the cat again. That fluff. What you doing inside of kitty from before? Inside the school. I am a cat, not a kitty. It's Ben Diskin again. What? All right, settle down. No need to make a scene. People are gonna start to think you're crazy. That cat just talk to me. It's Salem from Sabrina. One of the best cats ever. Yeah, yo, you know, in, in the history of cats on film or cats in the media, you know, people talk about Morgana, talk about Meowth, but we don't ever hear people talk about Salem from Sabrina the Teenage, which Salem was hilarious. <laughs> and now we got Fluffy, which is basically Salem. I wasn't imagining it. This cat is talking to me that's stupid cats can't talk <laughs> you might want to try thinking before you speak aren't you supposed to be smart megumi yakushiji how do you know my name is that you narakami right there everything about you you're the one who called me after all i did yes and now I'm here to grant you your wish. Your wish to save Juro Izumi. Well, I think of Juro Izumi, I think of a Dongar Rumpa character. So yeah, I can do it. I can get his memories back. We just need a can of tuna. Tell me that's not you Narakami behind us with this jacket on his shoulder, bro. Don't believe me. Oh, of course you wouldn't. It does sound too good to be true, doesn't it? He's a witch that got trapped in a cat's body. Go around granting wishes for free. In exchange, I need you to do something for me. You want a can of tuna, bro? After you agreed to a binding contract, that is. The contract? She can't consider this. This is messed up. We don't get to read her thoughts about any of this. And I wonder if that was intentional. I feel like that's kind of weird. I don't know if that's a hint towards anything, but you can't think about it. Why can't I think about it? That's kind of weird that I can't think about it. That's kind of suspicious. hallucination or some kind of cruel joke what exactly would i need to do for you 
I come from another world. One that was destroyed. Destroyed by a relic of an ancient civilization. Damn. It's called the Dimos Code. Uh oh. Dimos Code. It spreads like a nasty curse and has begun to infect this world too. I must find all the codes and set things right again. That is my mission. And the no big deal, Jarby, you get to do. If it's so easy, why don't you just do it yourself? You're not serious, are you? <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, I'm a cat. You really want to leave the fate of the world to a cat? Yeah, I think I would. I don't even have thumbs. If I screw up, you're dead too. <laughs> you're only damning yourself if you refuse. A contract with a cat. Are you gonna turn me into a magical girl or something? <laughs> well, I am curious to see what this is all really about. And more importantly, who's behind it? I can come play with you for a bit after school, okay? Just cause you're so cute. Sure, make fun. Just the fate of the world that's at stake. There's nothing impossible about it. <sighs> oh, this cat's salty, bro. I'll give you some time to think about it. I suppose it's a good thing you're skeptical. Instead of some idiot who believes everything she hears. Make no mistake. That decision was an option select. Accept my contract. He sarcastically accepted it's just it. A matter of time. Uh. So yes was a no, and no would have been a no. It really is true. The what illusion of choice. Bring back Juro. Then I'd make a deal with the devil if I had to. Deal with the devil? Oh no. That's a pretty bad idea, lady. Progress, 14%. Get ready to spend the next 90 hours on this game. Alright, so it looks like we're on episode 5 of the tutorial. We're gonna save the game. Um, got to do our best to get through the, the, the tutorial in the next hour or so. So everybody on YouTube, I will see you guys very soon for the next episode.